This morning in today's checklist, we are covering all the ways to feed our brain, our hearts, and our gut for a healthier body. Holistic nutritionist Mona Sharma joins us with a different way to think about what you put on your plate. Mona, good morning. Good morning. Hi, good Mona. to be here. So I, I've always heard, you know, the, the type of food that you eat is so important, but why is that? Well, let's take it back. Well, first of all, the, the brain, the heart, and the gut, mm -hmm. our bodies work as a, a network. So our brain, our heart, and our gut are constantly communicating, right? So before you even get to the food, mm -hmm. start your day off with using your opposite, your non-dominant hand oh. to do things like pick up your morning cup of tea. Oh, interesting. Brush your teeth. With a non-dominant hand. With a non-dominant hand. So you can grow new neural pathways that are going to help with focus and cognition and brain aging. Something as small as that can do that. Something That's as small as that. Have it stack, right? So brushing your teeth, drinking mm -hmm. coffee, we do that every day. Okay. Yeah. So Obviously, blueberries are good for you, but why is that? Blueberries are great. Jim Quick calls these brain berries. They're really rich in anthocyanins, which mm -hmm. have neuroprotective qualities, great for brain aging also. Throw them into recipes. Green tea, incredibly neuroprotective. But rosemary. rosemary spring in here. Interesting. Try adding rosemary to herbal tea like green tea or to coffee in the morning. Huh. Uh, it has rosemarinic acid, mm. which is fantastic. It's neuroprotective also, really great for memory and focus. Mm -hmm. mm. It's aroma. It kind of smells really it good. Kinda it's gets, relaxing. It gives you that like salty craving too, because yeah. it has that savory kind of like flavor to it. Yeah, and so it tastes great. really good. It does, I like it. <laughs> All right, from our brain to our heart. Let's talk about heart health here. Um, how can we show our, our hearts some extra love this season? Yeah, you know, after having two heart surgeries, I can tell you nothing else. Wait, you've had two heart surgeries? I've had two heart surgeries. Really? Nothing matters if you do not have your health. Amen. Amen. So All the right. first thing we can look at is increasing your fiber every day. So okay. eat the rainbow and colorful fruits and veggies, but also good quality fats. So I made my own trail mix here. You make Wal your own? Make your own. You don't does. get the added no, oils no. or fats or salt or sugar. So what do you put in stuff. it? Keep it raw. Add some mm. sea salt, but get some sweetness from currants and stuff like that. Walnuts, uh, pumpkin seeds are incredibly neuroprotective, okay. great for the brain, help you feel satiated and full, which is a benefit, right? But we want these good quality fats for our heart. Okay. Now, this looks yummy and sweet and delicious, and I'm here for that. So let's talk to me about this one. Uh, do you like sweets? Uh, that, that's an understatement. But I'm trying to reel it in. It's just so hard. I know, and I love I this recipe. So Okay, so what is this? This is an avocado chocolate mousse. Ooh. So cacao is an amazing flavonoid, which is heart protective. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got avocado in it, which is a good quality fat. It is loaded with fiber. It's going to help make you feel full. It's also low glycemic. We've added in some peppermint and some the extra pomegranate. butter with the pomegranate mm -hmm. seeds for a bit of texture. If you want it colder, you can keep it in the freezer. Okay, I'll just pull it down. This. Okay. This and is then, this is yummy. Go ahead. The last thing is gratitude. Mm -hmm. You know, the most simple things. We always think about adding. We don't think about the basics. So in the morning, just think about feeling grateful in your body. Give me two minutes of that, mm. and you'll bring your heart into coherence. When you're in heart coherence, you decrease stress and inflammation to the body. I believe that. Mona, let's talk okay. about the gut. We've covered the head. We've covered the heart. Let's talk about our, our tummy here. Yeah. This is, this is interesting. Gut microbiome, easy thing. Sauerkraut. Every single night at dinner, pull sauerkraut out onto the mm. table. It's a great amuse bouche. You're going to feed the good bacteria in the gut microbiome. Without aloe, the hot dog on top of the meat. Without the hot dog on top. <laughs> um, something else that I love is aloe vera. It's cheap. Mm. It's easy. You scoop out the filet. You can mix this with some water or make it into a smoothie. My kids love it. Mm, they can't really? taste it. Aloe vera is really calming and soothing for the gut microbiome. Great for digestive issues. Can you taste it? it? You can't like... taste it. Give it a taste. It's actually really yummy. I've added it with pineapple and some hemp seeds and oh. some peppermint. A lot of really... Gut support. This is really good. This is actually really good. Yeah. You know what it is? Like, we'll see aloe. I'll see it at the store. We'll see, and we just don't know what to do with it. I know. It's intimidating. Yeah. But this is Buy delicious. It, fillet it right away. Throw it in just into a blender so that it's ready to go. And just add it to all your recipes. What's in it? This it. is delicious. Pineapple. 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 Hemp seeds. Got some avocado in it. All the good stuff. Ooh. All the good stuff. Thank you. We Thank say you yes. so much, Mo. Thank you. better already. I know. This is good. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Thanks to so learn more uh, about our best foods for our brain, our gut, our heart health, head to today.com. Oh, good. Mm.